What brought Rudy and Ronell to this venue in the Durbanville Hills began as a friendship at the University of Johannesburg, where she was studying architecture and he was playing rugby. Obviously, I think she's got a sense of humour. I think uh, that's something that I really enjoy in her. I like that she's honest. She sometimes uh, will tell me something I don't want to hear, but it's the right thing that, at the time. And I th my lady's fun. I think she's fun to be around. She's fun. She easily communicates with people that she doesn't know, and that's obviously something that I really, really enjoy. The characteristic I love the most about Rudy is definitely his sense of humour. He's so funny. He makes me laugh all the time. Most of the time, I don't even know if he's serious or not. And then also the, his ambition. He's always striving for more, always making sure that he's better and and just every year he gets better and, and I love seeing him grow. This is obviously the band that I got for my wife. It complements the simple and elegant engagement ring that I got her so she likes it and, and it's got to look beautiful on her. My wedding dress, I went to Bridal Manor in Pretoria and just the first dress I gave her the brief to say like I want something very flowy and when she brought out the dress I just knew it was the dress I want and it was my first dress that I fitted and it was the dress that I ended up buying. Yeah obviously I'm excited to tell you guys what I'm going to wear today, uh, inspired by Kevin Hart. I'm going to wear a white jacket uh, with some patent leather, shiny black shoes and with a black bow tie, it's gonna be something different to what other grooms wear at weddings, so. Uh, what I'm looking forward to today is saying I do, and obviously seeing the smile on my wife's face, that's obviously something I'm, I can't wait to see. Ronell describes herself and Rudy as uncomplicated, and the same quality defined the decor by wedding planner Mario Boffer's team. So initially, uh, when uh, Ronelle approached our company, she was looking for a very modern, elegant look. A lot of whites, all whites, a, a touch of greens. However, taking into consideration, you know, some of the elements you do see in the venue itself, a lot of uh, glass factors, uh, the wooden rustic look. So we had to go from a modern, elegant look to something a little bit more rustic. And that's where we ended up with what we see here today. Weddings are the one excuse rugby players have to eat cake. And Kanya Hunt made it worth their while. Ronelle was a very easy bride. She knew exactly what she wanted. She wanted something simple and clean. And we added to this the homemade crispy rose gold paper to tie in with the other decor. After five years as friends, it struck Ronelle and Rudy that their feelings ran deeper. Over a casual lunch at a hamburger bar, they first realized their feelings for each other, and they've been inseparable from that day on. At the heart of their fairy tale wedding, their love remains grounded in their friendship. Rudy, will you take Ronel to be your wife? What is your answer? I do. I have known Rudy for most of his life. One of the highlights for me of this wedding is obviously the fact that he got married by his father, his father, uh, the Reverend Page, and that was for me quite special. My standout moment for today was when they presented the wedding bands and they said, I do. When Rudy and Ronel they placed their vows, it was absolutely uh, a moment, a very important moment in our lives. Tunes by the United Brass Band of Hanover Park proudly rooted the celebrations in the couple's culture. It was almost my dream for him to become someone in life. He was just a fine boy when he was small and it was his dream always to become a, a springbok and uh, we, are, we are privileged to be part of that. He's a great guy and uh, I really enjoy him. He's a, he's a great person and I'm very happy for him that he, he finally got married and yeah, I'm very happy for him. The band were synchronized in pink, while Julian Bass and Jade Page had a family theme going. Both of us decided to wear the same outfits because we're Rudy's brothers. And I feel like, if not, why not make a statement? Just a nice outfit together and to have fun. While the newlyweds live in Joburg, their families hail from Heidelberg and Easterfier in the Western Cape. So this is their heartland. Guests could look forward to local lamb on the menu, Toasts made with the finest Cape wines and lots of talk about rugby and family. My wish for them is that they will always stay true to each other and uh, with that I wish them a long and happy married life. I want to see my grandchildren, that's for sure. I can't wait. <laughs> the icing on this cake was that with all the demands of international rugby, so many sporting friends could be here. 
a good a great example to all of us, uh, made or not made fans. So yeah, I wish them all the best and as many kids as possible. Nine years after meeting, they'd sealed the deal. So we just got married. I'm super excited to call him my husband. He looks absolutely beautiful. And just spending the night with my friends and my family, they're so close to us. Everybody that's here means so much to us. And that's been the highlight, just everybody witnessing our beautiful marriage. For me, obviously, the highlight has been that no one is sitting in the chairs and no one's at the table. So everybody's having a good time and there's smiles and about everybody's having fun. So for me, that's the most important part of tonight. Rudy recently had a groin operation, so extreme dance moves and a honeymoon of long walks on the beach have to wait until he's back in shape. Then it will be non-stop rugby and happily a lifetime with his best friend.